So, coach, great coaches get job offers and replace bad coaches. True. Great teams get invited to bowl games. Mm -hmm. 99 out of 100 times in college football, when a great coach moves on and his team has a bowl game, he doesn't coach the bowl game. True that. that it's really never happened before. Why was it important or is it important to you that you coach this bowl game? We, we preach finishing, not only finishing athletically, but finishing academically, finishing socially, economically, uh, relationally. We want everything you have the audacity to start, you need to finish. And whatever your understanding of finishing is, we set forth with a goal this season to be dominant. We really didn't mention undefeated, but if you're dominant, ultimately you're going to be undefeated and we're not yet finished. Mm -hmm. So although God has promoted me, we still have a task at hand to complete. And I just feel passionate about these young men, this program, the personnel that's uh, associated with this program, the fans, the alumni, um, the staffers, we got to finish and uh, complete this assignment. You know, you met with your team after the game. True that. And again, looking at other coaches who moved on, that, that doesn't happen a lot. Those are my kids, man. Those are my babies. These are my uh, young men and women who made it possible for me to soar. Um, I receive a lot of the, the, the recognition and the, what word am I looking for? Um, the praise for our success, but it ain't no way in the world I could be who I am or we could be who we are without everyone involved. I mean, we are a hand that's truly closed and clenched together to compose a fist. Uh, and I love it. Now, everyone in here is, is truly important to me. And it, I, I needed to sit down and elaborate on what was what? I don't like rumors. I don't like hearsay. I don't like gossip. I don't like the foolishness like that. Let's get it from the horse. And if you have any questions within, let's talk about it. Let's talk it out. Because they deserve that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I hate, I, I've dealt with two divorces in my life. But um, in both cases, I sat down with the kids and explained to them succinctly, uh, this is what it is. This is what it's going to be. And you can't just go down and file for divorce. <laughs> and leave your kids in limbo. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't condone it. I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. Now, since you had that sit down with them, yesterday's practice, mm -hmm. energetic. Today's practice, energetic. Yeah, Smiling yeah, faces, yeah. bouncing around. Yes. Have you and been surprised like at that? And my door is like a darn saloon. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Saloon? Oh, yeah. yeah. A, 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 yeah. Revolving door Revol saloon. Yeah, it's a saloon like in a western. Yeah. Because... I could tell you this, and you family. Coach, can I go? Um, even some of our walk-ons, because they know how much work is involved, and they know if they're doing their job, they will get promoted. We would give them a scholarship. <laughs> it's funny, promotion. Tito got promoted, didn't he? Yeah. He was a cameraman mm -hmm. to a walk-on. And we gave him a scholarship. Yeah. But we don't like all promotions. We just like some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was just a shot. <laughs> But they they know that I will give them the opportunity to rise and become a, a scholarship player if they have it, yeah. yeah. If they work it, if they want it, if they show us that they can do the job. So I'm getting a lot of that. But I'm I'm keeping in mind some of these guys. I'm like guys, you need to stay here because mm -hmm. now you're going to get an opportunity to start and to play and to show what you have on tape. You mm -hmm. just need tape. Mm -hmm. the scouts going to come because you have the tape. So we've had 32 scouts come this season. I expect that to continue. Mm -hmm. You're about, uh, as we have this conversation, 10 days away from the end of the Celebration Bowl. Yeah. What are you looking forward to these next 10 days? Uh, I almost said honestly, but when somebody said honestly, it's like they get ready to set up a lie. <laughs> I hate when people do that. Yeah. Having a great practice tomorrow. Let me explain. Let me let me digress. Mm -hmm. I gotta take my time and be careful the way I answer because I'm coaching two.
programmed simultaneously. Mm -hmm. That's not ordinary. That's extraordinary. Um, and I'm thankful that both ADs have given me the opportunity to do such a thing. So when I tell you what I'm going to do here, I also got to tell you what I'm going to do there without you getting a little, little funky attitude. Yeah. So we're going to have a great practice tomorrow. We are. And we're going to give the young men and young women and the staff a break um, for a couple of days or three days. Then we're going to come back and practice uh, really hard and condition on the Monday. But after we practice tomorrow, I'm getting on the plane. I got a huge recruiting weekend in Colorado, mm -hmm. a huge recruiting weekend. Um, and we got to, we don't sell anything because we're genuine. Show these young men and young women uh, and the parents who we are, what we are, and how we are, and the change that we expect to occur and to get them to commit mm -hmm. to this new thing that we're establishing, just like we established a new thing here. Then when we come back after a couple of days, we're going to reunite and get this thing back going. Um, we're going to leave to go to the Celebration Bowl on Wednesday. We're going to work our butt off Wednesday morning, go to Celebration, go to Atlanta. Um, then we work our butt off. I may give them a, that evening. May, yeah, they may have a midnight curfew mm -hmm. because I want them to get, get it out you, man. I know you're going to do it. Get it out you. Let's go and get it out. All right. I know y'all go to Magic City. All right. Okay, I'm going to have somebody in there to make sure it is what it is. Matter of fact, I know magic. How about that? Okay. Uh, Atlanta's your town. Yeah, Atlanta man. used to be. Okay. Still, magic still my dog. So, although I hadn't been there in about 37 years. <laughs> truth. That's truth. Uh, we're going to let them have a good time. Then we're going to get back to work on Thursday and hone in Friday and be dominant on Saturday. Then I'm going to get back on the plane and go and have the biggest recruiting weekend ever had mm. in the history of Colorado. That's how it's gonna go down. 